instantly just drop their brand new AI reply agent feature. And it's pretty much like they handed you a free tireless employee that never calls in sick. Imagine having an AI agent that handles all of your lead replies automatically 24 seven within minutes of getting a response. The best part is you can get it fully trained up and running in just a few minutes, customized to sound exactly like your brand and your business. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set it up step by step, focusing on the key guidance sections so you can avoid any hiccups and start closing more deals right away. You'll notice here in instantly, there's actually this new little section here called AI agents and all you need to do is just go ahead and click on the feature there and then we're just going to go ahead and click on add new agent and then we're going to go and hit continue and you notice here it says AI reply agent which is obviously free until August 1st so literally a free employee to try and have it fully trained for you and then the AI sales agent looks like it's coming soon so we're going to go ahead and select on this select AI reply agent now one of the things that I personally recommend just to really make sure you're doing it right and that you're not going to embarrass yourself is I would do the human in the loop also known as a hiddle just to make it easy we're going to go ahead and select hiddle mode to click on that and then you'll notice just free self-explanatory features here that we have agents should handle follow-ups obviously that's a yes agents should respond to automatic emails yes handle objections declines or negative replies that would also be a great feature as well because as you know when you have the positive replies coming in typically you'll prioritize that so this can actually be really helpful in overcoming any initial questions objections things like that so we're going to leave all those with yes and continue from here you'll notice the section here that says use as a default agent which you can use across all your campaigns as more of like a employee to handle it all but you can deselect this and then select individual campaigns to have it really really focused on a particular motion that you're running maybe it's a promotional thing maybe it's a holidays maybe it's a summer you never know but you can actually tie it to specific campaigns you just select the drop down and then select your campaign from there for now we're going to use this as a default agent we're going to go ahead and hit continue from here you'll notice you have the tone of voice so this is going to be you're a business where you need to have a professional tone sometimes you want to put a little bit of sauce or some flavor or some scrappiness behind it like humorous for now we're going to stick with professional tone agents response late you know it's pretty standard here so we could be concise standard or thorough just in case you need a little bit more comprehensive uh, walkthroughs anything like that for now we're going to leave that on standard just to really test this out now this is going to be where the meat is of where i would spend a little bit of time maybe even go into your consultants i.e grok chat gpt claude things like that to really try to hone in and ground the AI agent. This also is going to be a good opportunity for maybe to you to consult with your team members or maybe your founder if you're not a founder, but really just understand your brand, your communication style, making sure you dial in your SOPs in terms of how you want this agent to talk. And so we're just going to say communication here needs to be professional, concise, direct, and to the point. We want to ensure that the customer has clear understanding of the solutions that we provide, which is around AI and automation. And and providing value around their current business operations to improve operational efficiencies. I'm just going off on a whim here, but that's a general concise offer that we do here at Top of Funnel. So I'm gonna go ahead and check feasibility. And you can see here, it actually revised it for me. And sometimes simple is the best way to go about it. So you're not giving it too much information to uh, be confused. Maintain a professional and concise communication style to ensure customers clearly understand our AI and automation solutions that enhance their operational efficiency. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save there. You wanna make sure you don't lose your work. So make sure you save that. And and if I need to provide any new guidance, you just want to be really, really simple and direct. So that way it's almost better to have an AI agent that is so hyper-focused on one thing and does it well. That way you can trust the system because if you give one agent too much context, it could actually hallucinate and start going off on wild goose chases. Context and clarification. This is also going to be another important here, but we're going to create a customized guidance to follow up questions. So this is going to be really important on how you want the AI agent to understand your business. Business. So let's say you're doing mergers and acquisitions. Maybe there's going to be a process, right? As far as P&Ls, things like that. If you're a B2B SaaS, this might be doing demos. This might be a little bit more intuitive when it comes to how you guys onboard customers, things like that. Maybe there's an implementation process. There might be a self-serve where all they need to do is try it out as like a free trial or something like that. And so really it's context and clarification to handle anybody who replies to your email that might have more questions. So that way it can reply based on your SOPs. And so it might be beneficial to actually dive into your standard operating procedures and then put that into a very clear, concise area. And so for us, we're going to say in these replies, we basically try to understand where the company is currently when it comes to their current tech stack, how their operations currently flow within their business. 
and understand what areas that they could potentially improve on. And we scope out the operations from a feasibility perspective. And we try to understand where they are at currently and what we can do to prioritize to improving their business, to save time, save money, and also raise their top line revenue. And we'll say for next steps, we generally have a discovery call just to understand their situation and how we could benefit them to make sure that we are a good fit for them. The biggest leveraging point here is just to literally brain dump and then use AI to help kind of streamline and organize those thoughts around what you're looking for. All right, perfect. In these replies, we assess the company's current tech stack. Oh, we don't want that. So this is kind of where you want to audit it. Tech stack and operational flow to identify potential improvement areas. We evaluate feasibility and prioritize actions. I can save time, reduce costs, and increase revenue. Next, we typically conduct a discovery call to understand their situation. Perfect. Now, this is another area here. And so we are doing a human in the loop, which basically means you want to think about you as the orchestrator or the supervisor. So you're delegating these tasks, you know, it's no different than you would with an employee. And then you want them to escalate, which is the human in the loop to say, hey, I'm not quite sure on this scenario, or this is an escalation scenario. What do you need me to do here? And I would say if you are handing off replies and things like that, you really want to trust but verify as they always say. But handover and escalation is a good opportunity to actually make sure that it's notifying you via Slack, things like that to know what do I need to do here so that you can intervene and not embarrass yourself. So we're going to say for handover and escalation, I want to know if there are any complaints or negative sentiment that might be extreme other than just a simple no thanks. And also if they state that there are high budget such as 10k then we immediately want to be notified for the sales team to better understand their situation and ensure that we are going to be a good return on investment for what they are looking to solve and we're going to optimize that and this goes for any custom that you have if you really feel like you just want to make sure it's done right and that the ai is not responding and again you know potentially embarrassing you then it's best just to have it escalated and then we can tweak and revise from there so notify the sales team of any extreme complaints. And then from here, other guidance information. This is kind of a catch-all, but really it's to always include a calendar link. Never say, I hope this email finds you well. And that is pretty much it because we know all AI usually tries to say, I hope this email finds you well. Just get straight to the point. All right, I think we are all set there. So we're gonna hit continue. And then you can see that we have Slack already connected. If you don't already have your Slack workspace, definitely get that connected. Same with Calendly. It's just gonna easily prompt you to connect your Calendly. And then we're just going to hit add agent and that's it. So we have our first AI agent here. And if I need to duplicate or do anything from there, I can also go back into the agent to revise and tweak. And you can see analytics. I mean, you have an employee such as this, you can know exactly every single step of the way activity feed. I mean, that's micromanagement and leveraging AI in a good way, right? I would definitely encourage you to at least try it. I believe it's free up until August. So right now, I mean, there's no better time than to try out these wonderful features that uh, instantly has dropped for us. But if you made it to the end of this video, really appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one.